Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace. I received a package from Joe at the NES Dunk. No, these are not games for the NES, but rather for the SMS, the Sega Master System. And they're a little bit out of the ordinary. Let's see, which one do I show first? I'll start with this one. Thoroughly wrapped in bubble wrap as usual. Okay. Unlike the uh, games that he sells for the NES, and he has over 400 that are games that were either not released in North America for the NES or weren't released for the NES at all. For example, Famicom only games. And now he's doing the same thing with the Super Nintendo and the Sega Master System. This is a game that was never released. It was developed by Code Masters, but not published. This is a reproduction, if you will, of the prototype Dino Basher from Codemasters. And as was the case with games that were released in Europe for the Master System, the description of the game on the back is in multiple languages. Those are all of the different levels of the game. It knows. Now, no instructions because there were never any to begin with. The cartridge. Really, really cool. Now, the NES games that he sells, they are usually around $30 a piece, but some of them are $40, depending on uh, how rare the board is that he has to use. The Sega Master System games that he has are $35 a piece, or four for $100. The extra money being uh, probably cost of the case. Fortunately, the Sega Master System used the same case as the Mega Drive slash Genesis. Okay, that's the next one. It's a little bit different. For those of you who are familiar with the NES dump, one of the things that he offers are games for the NES that originally were only published in Japan, the Famicom. What he does is uh, he puts them on NTSC standard NES cartridges and um, all of the text is translated into English. I have here a game it was originally only released in Japan for the Sega Mark III. This is the game that I have here on an SMS cartridge. I'm just showing this as a reference. There's the Sega Mark III. The Mark III could play games that were originally uh, published in Japan for the SG-1000 and the SC-3000. The Mark III was later redesigned to come out um, in 
the West as the master system, and then they re-released the master system in Japan. Uh, the difference being that it used a different size cartridge, used the same size oops, cartridge as SG-1000 and the Mark III. Anyway, this is something I have, one of the few games that I have for my Japanese master system. Somewhere on my channel, I still got the video that I put up showing the differences between the two. The SG-1000 and the Famicom were released in Japan on the same day. Anyway, this is a game that was originally published on the Mark III in Japan. It was not subsequently released anywhere else. And it's called Sikaban Dika 2. Description on the back. As I stated before, all the text within the game is translated into English. Now I've placed another order with the NES dump. She hasn't had time really to process yet. A game for the NES and a game for the SMS. So I will show those when I get them. But two more games for my SMS. So, I still plan to show the uh, DVD pickups that I've had that I haven't gotten around to showing yet. I picked up even more today, another five. So, I counted them last night, and what I had up until that point was 54 that I hadn't shown. So, now I've got 59. But I have been watching them as I get them. For example, yesterday I just finished watching uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. So I'll be getting to those, and I've got a lot of books and manga and so forth that I've also picked up that I haven't shown yet, and a lot of games that I picked up at Game Over for systems such as the Saturn and the Dreamcast and others. So I still need to show those. So just be patient with me. Until next time, stay awesome.